Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. What I want to talk about today is a close quarters reflex sight, specifically the Mepro M21. I've had these for several years. These were developed, I'm pretty sure, for the IDF, Israeli Defense Force. I think they were adopted, kind of put into play back in 2002, was available to the U.S. market in 2004. Uh, real quick here, out of the box, it, the thing that I like about this system is it, it's the epitome of KISS. Keep it simple, stupid. There's, there's no electronics, there's no moving parts, there's no dials, there's no batteries. That was a big thing that, that I gravitated for. I was looking something that doesn't have batteries. Now, a lot of the newer stuff uh, has batteries, you know, with 100,000 hours, but wherever there's a battery, you could have a failure. Anyway, the, the KISS, even the box is KISS. You open it up, I mean, there's just not much in there. There's the little instruction book, which I have to say is, is really good as far as instructions. There is just a little neoprene cover. There's the kill flash that screws in, and then here is the sight itself. And I'll show you, we'll try to get a good picture through there. I have the one with the chevron or the triangle, uh, which I like because when it comes to a point, I feel like that gives me a little bit better accuracy because I can sight it in right on that point. Um, this is also the one with the quick detach, the kill flash, just simply screws right in there. There's pros and cons of this, but we'll, we'll come back to that. The first thing I think, you know, maybe a con that you'll notice is it's not light. It weighs in at 0.8 pounds. When we compare that with others like, you know, my, my favorite SIG Romeo 5, which is really light, I like that. Um, you know, then when you start comparing it to like Aimpoint and EOTech and some of those, I still think that this is probably one of the heavier ones. But then again, that was sort of the intent is, is this thing is just a beast. It's for military use, so that's why it's heavy. Originally, this was, I believe, conceived and designed to go on the Tavor. You can see here, I've got it mounted on my Tavor and it works great. So anyway, back to the site here. It has essentially uh, fiber optics, which gather light and light it up. And then it also has a tritium, which is sort of, I don't wanna say radioactive, but it illuminates with like a 10 year half-life or something. So even in complete darkness, you will be able to see that. One drawback with this is um, if you are in a dark environment, looking outside, like if you're in a blind, if you're in a building and you're looking out into bright sunlight, you do get some, you get some serious washout, okay? That is the only downside that I have really discovered with this is, you know, the washout and it's, it's fairly significant. Now we get it out of the box, first thing you're gonna notice is there's only two things that you can adjust or do on this and that is windage and elevation. You can see here is the elevation. It's got a little arrow, turn up, and then there's the windage. Each adjustment or click provides 1.7 MOA of movement, and I'm assuming that that's at 50 yards because that's where it's suggesting that you dial this in or zero it. In the instructions here, you can see it shows, uh, you know, basically military or combat zeroing. Assuming that this is on a 223, if we zero it at 50, you know, it's five centimeters low at 25, it's 150, or sorry, 15 centimeters high at 150 yards, and then it's dead on again at 250, and then just slightly lower center mass at 300 meters. Indoors, plenty bright, good picture sight, Nice, crisp, clean triangle again with the camera. It's hard to see exactly how I'm seeing it. So inside, looking outside, you definitely have noticeable washout. Um, the camera doesn't really do it justice. I can still see it. I'd still be able to shoot, but definitely noticeable washout. Now outside in full light, completely different story. Very bright, good picture, crisp, clean, triangle. Can't see it because of the focus here with the camera, but it's, it's a good sight picture. So here it is with the kill flash. 
in place outside, we still have a nice, bright, crisp, orange triangle, good sight picture. So like with any sight, it's not perfect. There's, there's always a trade-off. Indoors, awesome. Thumbs up, nice and bright. Outdoors, thumbs up, nice and bright. Great, quick target acquisition. Inside in a darker, looking outside, as with any fiber optic or non-battery, you have washout. So that's going to be something that you would have to decide, you know, how often are you in that shooting circumstance where you're indoors in a darkened area shooting outside into a brighter area. If that is really never an issue, then, then this, is, this is awesome. I mean, hey, if you have not already checked out our webpage, Check us out, beyondseclusion.com. I've got a page on there, Crazy Stupid Deals. When I find things like this for $350, this is the idea of the Crazy Stupid Deals. I These courses, you know, finance course, do you know anybody that's in school, high school or college? I've got an online study skills course, first responders, law enforcement, military, firefighters. I've got a continuing ed on mental health. These things help fund Beyond Seclusion and keep the products coming for review. Um, so if you're interested, if you know anybody that would be interested in these, they have a 100% 30-day money-back guarantee. you got nothing to lose. At the very least, I've got them listed in the description. If you could just simply click on them to give them a view, and that bumps them up in the search engine for people that are looking for them and, again, helps continue to support the channel and the reviews. Okay, so we're outside. going to give this M21. Here's the cover. I was just going to show you here. Take that off. I do have a UTG three times magnifier. I've got a video out on that. This is a great little magnifier, cheap. It just pulls back and drops out of the way. What I want to do is just show you uh, basically the, the quick target acquisition that we can get with this. So we're here at 50 yards. Let's just see how this M21 works. I do have my kill flash on there. Not super used to using that. I'll try taking that off. I love this sight. Let's uh, let's try it at a hundred. Let's try this at 100 yards without the magnifier. I'll pop my three times magnifier on, see what, uh, how much of a difference that makes. Okay, real quick here, let's try 200 yards across the pond. I am gonna use my mag, well, let's try it without the magnifier. See how that works. Reload. That's not for the sight, that's me holding it. Let's try resting it on a bag here. Let's try 300 way up there on the hill. Let's 
try the magnifier. Go back to 200. Let's just try to have a little fun with this up close, rapid fire, both eyes open. So that's kind of the final review on the Mepro M21. This thing is an awesome little battle site. I mean, it is the epitome of KISS, keep it simple, stupid. We've got no batteries, no moving parts. It's just simply a battle site. Um, uses fiber optics and a tritium illuminator for total darkness, quick, easy target acquisition both eyes open you throw a three times magnifier on there and you have absolutely no issues at all reaching out to 300 yards you know i was hitting it even at 200 yards 300 yards without the magnifier hopefully you found this helpful be sure to like comment and sub remember gun safety starts at home with educating your kids be safe and happy shooting